Hello everyone and welcome to my July wrap up. So in July, I read a total, including all my audiobooks and everything, a total of I think 16 books. Yeah, 16 books. So pretty good month overall. Um, but let's just get into it because we don't want this video to be too long. So one of the um, books that I've read this month were actually novellas of the selection series. So I read The Prince, The Guard, and The Favorite. Um, all in that series because I'd finished the series Oh, a couple years ago and uh, didn't read the novellas and then Danny over at Spinelli Speaks was talking about the novellas after she did I believe a rapid review on um, the selection so I had to go and read them because she got me super excited about the series yet again so thank you Danny um, then I also got to um, the book shop of yesterday's by Amy Myerson. This is about a girl. I always forget their names. Miranda. Um, and when she's a kid, she has an uncle who owns a bookstore. And he, when they go out together and they have adventures together, he always sets up a little scavenger hunt. So there's a falling out and she doesn't talk to her uncle for quite a long time. And then he passes away and he leaves her his bookshop. But he also leaves her um, a scavenger hunt as well and she's trying to work it out. Um, I enjoyed this book. At the beginning I thought I had read it already, as I said in one of my vlogs. Um, but of course it turned out that I didn't. So it must have been somebody talking about the book. But um, Yes, enjoyed this. Then I also read uh, Crown of Feathers by Nikki Po Preto. Um, this is about two, two sisters who want to um, join the, um, like an order of the Phoenix kind of thing, um, where they're Phoenix riders and you have to be bonded to a phoenix in order to do that. So it goes from when it's in the egg and that's how you bond with your phoenix because you have to sit there and take care of it. And then it hatches and either it bonds with you or it doesn't or something happens. And so it's the biggest compliment is to um, be a phoenix rider. And I really, really enjoyed this, that I also picked up the second one, which was Heart of Flames. Really good series so far. I know there's another book as well that I haven't got to yet. Then, of course, I'm still reading or reading along with the Dresden Files on Twitter. Um, and I, I read or I listened to Death Masks and Blood Rites because I'm getting them from the library as they come in, as they come available. So and unfortunately, I'm really ahead of them because there's such a long wait that if I don't get them right now, I'm gonna miss out and then be behind them. So I'd rather have read it and then be able to talk about it in the group. So I read those two from the Dresden Files. So loving that series. And I think the best way is to listen to the audiobooks because James, uh, what's his last name? Masters? M Marsters? Marsters? Sorry. Uh, he was Spike on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. See, I told you, I'm really bad with names. Um, does an impeccable job on all of those audiobooks. Also, I listened to the audiobook of Rage and Ruin, which is the second book to Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armantrot. Enjoyed that book. Love that series. Um, I'm also reading the Elements, the Dark Elements series of hers as well, but um, I find that I enjoy Storm and Fury 
better because I enjoy the main character, the female main character more in that one. And if you haven't seen my blog, wow, 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 that book left me thinking and I couldn't believe what happened. And that's all I'm going to say because I don't want to give spoilers. I also um, was given the audio of the ebook, sorry, of Wild Magic from the author L.M. Sharon and uh, to write a review about. And I did that on Goodreads and Amazon. That is a story about um, a girl named Ainsley who goes to a private school because she wants to find out what happened to her father. Because her father... Um, at the beginning of the book, he he walks off the building. Um, so he was working on something and she figures that there's something up that he's done that. So she wants to find out what's going on and it all revolved around um, Ashcroft Academy. So she gets a scholarship and she goes there and on day one, she sees another girl named Sydney and Sydney right off the bat just doesn't like Ainsley. So there's secrets there and both of them are hiding things. And it's the first one in a series, I think of three or four. I think there's a fourth one coming out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it was very good. It was a great way of setting up the series and um, looking forward to the next one. Then I also read the first two books in Lockwood and Company. That's The Screaming Staircase and The Whispering Skull. And that is a middle grade book um, about a company, Lockwood and, and Company, who um, investigates paranormal activity. Um, and it was fun and it was great. I, I, enjoy, I love middle grade books, as you know. And um, I just loved that series. It was a recommendation on Twitter, or no, on Instagram from um, at library underscore dweller16. And I just got the uh, audiobook of the third one. I'm looking forward to it. So I can't wait for that. Also, I was listening to um, Rainy Day Reads. So Rainy, Rainy Day Reads and Angie at Literary Labor, they were... Uh, doing a romance read-along and Rainey was talking about Debbie Maycomber and of course you know how much I enjoy her works so I found one of her books on uh, my uh, Libby app from the library so I downloaded that and that was Window on the Bay and you know how much I enjoy a Debbie Maycomber book. This book was about uh, two friends from um, college I believe and uh, it's back into the future or back into yeah back into the future where they're both empty nesters now their kids are off doing uh, college or uh, living their lives and so they're alone and they're empty nesters and they're trying to uh, come to grips with that and uh, kind of working out what to do how to live their lives as empty nesters and it's a Debbie McComber book so we kind of know what happens, but it's it's great. I loved it. Also, I'm taking part in Christy Fest, which is hosted by Hungry Bookworm. And this um, Agatha Christie book that we're reading this time is Three Act Tragedy. And I was very impressed with this one because with me, Agatha, Agatha Christie is a hit or miss. Um, not that I've read many of hers, but the ones I have, they're up. Uh, a hit or miss. Um, this is a Hercule, Hercule Perot book and um, I really did enjoy it. Uh, before we talk about it or discuss it in the group, um, I'm going to have to listen to it again because I listened to the audiobook um, to refresh my memory, but I really did enjoy it and I, I know I'm kind of surprised because the only other book that I've read of Agatha Christie that I enjoyed was And Then There Would Not. So, and I have read a couple others. So, yeah. Murder on the Orange Express was not one of my favorites, so that's a lot, right? Okay, then I also was doing a buddy read with Nikki over at I underscore read past my bedtime, and we read Aru Shaw and the End of Time. Um, this is about, of course, Aru Shaw, and it's all about um, 
Indian mythology, and I, I did enjoy it, but I, I did learn a lot about it. I think it's not as good as the hype is, for me at least, or maybe the hype just made me expect a lot more than I got from this book, because it was a good book, and I'm willing to go on to the next one in the series. Actually, I have that one on audiobook from the library as well that just came in today while I'm filming. So I'm interested to see what happens, uh, but because of the hype, I expected a lot more from this book. And the last book I'm going to talk about in this video and probably the first book that I read this uh, in July is In the Hills Above the Grist Mill by Calvin Ellis. I will link up my book review on this one because I did review this book. Um, this is about Paisley Mont and she's a paranormal investigator on like YouTube kind of thing. And she is invited by the preacher of a small town called Greywater Ridge to inve investigate sightings of a Sasquatch because there have been I believe seven seven women have been mysteriously mutilated in this small town and she's going there to investigate she does she gets along with a whole bunch of uh, people in this small town we get to know a lot of people we get to know what's going on and it's an amazing book and it's a series so I can't wait till uh, we get the second Paisley Mott book out. I believe he's writing it now. That was my wrap up for this month. Have you read any of these books? If you have, please let me know below. I'd love to uh, discuss them with you. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to, please press that subscribe button and I will see you again the next time.